Well, it seems like the markets are crashing, crypto's crashing, and uh, the Fed just announced $1.5 trillion in quantitative easing. The, the earth is fucking falling apart because we're not making any more money. Now, mind you, there's real economic consequences. And I'm not talking about economic as in financial. I'm talking about breaking up society when people can't afford to pay for rent, or people can't afford to pay for mortgage, or the most basic Maslow hike your needs, they can't afford to pay for food. But what I want to talk about is opportunity cost. And if you look at the history of most startups and you look at where people, the most successful companies come from, usually they come from when times are rough. You know, Churchill has a saying, when going through hell, keep on going. So it's fascinating to see the dichotomy of different people within this space. You have people who are opportunistic when the whole markets are crashing. I use, I'm going to use the word markets in plural to define all markets, commodity markets, stock markets, crypto markets, futures, everything. Markets as a whole, a general concept. And so you have people who are opportunistic where they see opportunity, where they're sitting on cash. Then you got people who are fear mongers or they are in more scarcity mindset where the world is crashing around them. Now, for the most part, 99.99% of us, me included, we're not playing up here. It's not like I'm sitting on a $100 million fund where I can go up and scoop up cheap fucking assets. It's not like I can manipulate a bunch of stuff as I'm a hedge fund. Neither can you. Maybe you can, and you're one of the uh, insiders. But that being said, what can you do as a regular person where you are you have a job or a small business or whatever the fuck it may be, but you are independent individual. And what can you do? See, regardless of if it's good times or if it's bad times, the fundamental problem that we humans fall into is the hedonic treadmill. It's the happiness treadmill. It's a treadmill of the dopamine fix where we have to get high our, on our own fucking supply every single day. This is why we're addicted to our cell phone. This is why we're addicted to f- people conforming into us, meaning like validation. I have to go online and say something. The more fucking likes I get, the better. This is why we get accustomed to the same routines. We go to work. We have a, a, a safe, secure, steady paycheck. We have a pension plan. Well, I don't know how that's working out for you right now. Case in point, pension, pension plans for the most part, pff, You're trusting your money with somebody else. And for the most part, these fiduciaries aren't the wisest, to be honest with you. Their returns are horrendous. And so I'm a a firm believer in uh, you're smarter than most people and give yourself more credit. And so you you look at all these factors and we get caught up in this treadmill. I got to do the same thing, man. I got to get that paycheck. I got to get the benefits. And when shit hits the fan, we go into chaos mode. Oh my fucking God, what's going to happen now? And it's a fight or flight, right? Cortisol's going, testosterone's going, stress is going, all this pressure's fucking building up. You might be arguing with your spouse. You might be arguing with your business. Um, You might be getting fired. Most likely we're going to have a lot of layoffs if, if this keeps up. But this also brings opportunity, and, you know, th- th- this brings in the picture of if the glass is half full or is a glass half empty. I always like to look as a glass half full. There's opportunities everywhere. And it's not like in the world, you know, for the most part, if you're North America, we can get some shelter over your head and we can get food on the table. Let's go back to word opportunity. You know, this brings opportunity to, for you to rethink the circumstances that you've been. If you're in a circumstance that is so fragile, like like this, that you know, Nassim Talib talks about this, an anti-fragility. If you're so fragile, the little fucking tiny Jenga piece moves and your whole house of cards come crashing down. That's not a really good position to be in. And I'm not just talking about finances. I'm talking about phys- physical health. You know, I'm talking about mental health. Like, let's talk about the coronavirus. You know, statistically speaking, if you are a healthy individual, your blood markers are good. You're taking care of yourself. You have your vitamin D, vitamin, like all your, all your stuff is good. You have a stronger pop, uh, probability of beating the virus as opposed to an individual that's like, well, I got to rely on my medication. I got to rely on this. I have to rely on that. No shit. Like your hot air balloon, one prick, you come crashing down, right? So it goes to the classical saying, the Stoic saying, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Most people are doing an opposite. <laughs> They're preparing for the best and not hoping for the worst, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like everything has to be perfect in that, in that best scenario. 
And so these are opportunities for you to better yourself. You know, in case you're one of the unfortunate ones that get laid off, maybe this gives you opportunity to re-educate yourself, upskill yourself, go to a better company. Companies always need to hire people. This is the one thing that people understand in markets. Uh, companies do lay off. Yes. Other companies need to hire you. Companies need good workers to make revenue. If you can be productive and producing sales for a company, you will be hired. Simple as that. This is like the cognitive dissonance people have. They think just because the mar- everyone's getting laid off, the market dies. No, it doesn't. Business has to carry on. People need people to fucking carry on in business. And so I always look at opportunities as opposed to, oh my God, I am, I've been dealt the worst cards. You know, poker song, know when to fold them, know when to hold them. And so you got to look around, man. Don't be one of these people, ostrich syndrome, where you're sticking your fucking head in the sand and hoping everything's going to pass over you. Life doesn't work that way. You end up like being one of these schmucks from the last video I was talking about. Fake teachers, fake success. You follow these guys or gals and you end up in the schmuck pool over here. And then you want to ignore everything that's going on in your life. You don't want to take responsibility. So you stick your fucking head in the fucking sand and you're like an ostrich. That's not fucking life. You know, proper life is looking at everything and and going head on, but having a support group around you. I'm not saying you do this by yourself. Community is really important. Having your family around you, having your friends around you. But the notion is you're taking the responsibility. You are starting your hero's journey. Okay, you got fired. On to the next journey. This opens up doors. Your business now doing good. Maybe the business is fuck that business. Close it. Bankrupt it. Claim bankruptcy. Start next one. Next one maybe takes off six months than the old one in the last couple of years. You never know. You know, for, you know, new rock is unturning. Probabilities, possibilities everywhere. But it's the mindset that matters, man. It fucking matters. It's just owning it and looking at it differently from a, not from a s- skeptical, pessimistic, doom and gloom, all hell's going to break loose. No, from like things happen. And mind you, we've been living in such peaceful times as of late. You know, the 2008 crash, meh. You know, last real war, World War II in the 40s. And then before that, World War I. You know, some civil wars here and there. But like global catastrophes that haven't been happening really. And we're living in opportunity, like massive opportunity, especially if you're in fucking North America. Like, you know, obviously life is never going to be fair. You know, if you are born here, you won the genetic lottery. And as opposed to if you're born somewhere in like, continent of africa or somewhere in like bumfuck asian minor like i don't know like uzbekistan i don't even you know somewhere there you know there's much more opportunities here so you win the genetic lottery and so that's the whole point i'm not giving up trying new things learning new skills and i'll leave it off as churchill said it when going through hell keep on going guys just don't give up don't give up and if you need help holler at me man more than happy to help you out if you need help with I don't know, business advice, if you need help with marketing, if you need help with whatever, you know, personal help, emotional help, I'm here for you, man. Just shoot me a personal message, you know, more than happy to help you out. All right, guys, I'll leave it at that. If you got a comment for me, leave a comment below this video. And oh, by the way, by the way, from the last video, mm, I got suggested I should do this. Hit the notification bell somewhere here. It gets you notified for every new video that comes out. And I'm going to be making videos every day. That's one of my new modus operandi. I'm like, fuck it. I went off for a bit as my dad died. So I took a kind of hiatus, but I'm back. You know, I I really enjoy doing these videos. I'm going to be having fun, more interactive videos with other people. But yeah, hit that notification bell so you get notified with, uh, with a new video coming out on a daily basis. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.